The government's decision to further tighten the number of foreign workers will depend on the demand for these workers. Acting Manpower Minister Tan Chuan Jin indicated the pace of restructuring will also be a factor. MacPower is just one of many local companies that has endured the labor crunch. To cope, it moved a large part of its operations to Johor. Whenever we, we have an overload of work, we just uh, put on a banner inside, outside the factory and we got a lot of workers coming, chasing after us for a job. And it also is, uh, is easier, as well as the labor costs are much cheaper than Singapore. Analysts warn there could be more companies that will shift elsewhere, downsize or even close down. Some have urged the government to be more flexible in adjusting foreign worker numbers according to business conditions. However, there seems to be no turning back. Uh, the levers are there to adjust, um, but I think the direction and I think perhaps to perhaps make clear is that we will work with companies to transit and we will look at the various measures in place and to see whether we will continue to tighten. So a lot depends on demand, uh, whether despite seeming slowing down in the global economy, will demand ease off, uh, will restructuring takes place. To reduce dependency on foreign workers, companies are being urged to raise productivity. In addition, they are encouraged to tap on older workers, back-to-work women, part-timers and the disabled. The Employment Act is also being reviewed in response to the needs of a changing workforce. The Labour movement wants the Act to be extended to cover the growing numbers of professionals, managers and executives. Employers, however, believe this could be a financial burden to companies and have asked for greater flexibility. For instance, some companies have told us that uh, for their business they have seasonality. So is it possible that during the slack season, instead of rewarding overtime or through cash, can I pay overtime with time off? So during the slack season, you are allowed to take more days off you know, to, uh, for better work-life balance. Policies are also being changed to improve the welfare and well-being of foreign workers. Starting 1st January 2013, foreign domestic workers will get a mandatory rest day. Singapore employers are very fearful of what the domestic workers are going to be doing on their off days. But we need to trust the person who's working in, their, in our homes. In November, a strike by 171 bus drivers from China disrupted Singapore's harmonious labour relations. The government acted quickly, calling it an illegal strike. The fact that we responded swiftly and sternly, I think we have done the damage control, uh, which I think shouldn't have happened in the first place. So from this episode, I think the long-term repercussion is quite minimal. But should another episode happen, that I'm not very sure. To prevent such an episode from happening again, employers have been urged to review their grievance handling procedures. This is to ensure these remain practical and relevant to their employees.